Chelsea give me vibes of the type of person who would cheat on you and she do everything she can to convince you that it's your fault that she cheated. I'm not finna fold. You got a history of lying and being manipulative? Huh. You got a history of lying, of lying, laying next to someone you love and lying to them in their face. Over days, weeks, texts, calls, all that. <laughs> and now you want to be in a relationship with me? Oh no, baby! Oh no, you a professional in these streets. I'm I have a history of deceiving people I love, and I am capable of it. I'm curious. <sighs> You're more than capable. You have the skill set for it. You know what I'm saying? You've practiced and polished your skills. If we grow, do not do some growing, do some actually growing. do the deep dive and understanding why we behave the way that we behave, we'll inside. never be able to correct. So and welcome back to Mitchum Entertainment, man. It's look, 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 popped up on my screen, man. Listen, we got Jubilee here. Is cheating always wrong? <laughs> why, why is... Why, 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 why do we normalize doing fake stuff and snaking people and cheating and lying? Why, why, this is, this, this stuff is just, this is crazy. Listen, I'm just very interested to see where this goes. Uh, apparently, like I say in most of my videos that uh, go around topics like this, y'all like when I give relationship advice. Uh, you know, what I told people still stands, love yourself, you know, and the person that you want to be should love you too for you, you know what I'm saying? They shouldn't try to change you, you shouldn't try to change yourself, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Self-love is important. Uh, Yeah, Um, all of that still stands. Uh, I wonder how good I'm going to do in this video, man, because, like, <laughs> I don't like liars. <laughs> I just don't, bro. So, like, is cheating always wrong? I'm going to answer this question for y'all right now. Yeah. You know how many people on this earth? You could just be single. You can literally be single and do whatever you want. Why cheat? Hey, man, that's it. Let's get to the video, Hi, man. I'm Gen, and I explore social and controversial issues through both sides. And today I'll be moderating this middle ground episode of Cheaters vs. Cheated On. We'll be exploring topics such as the personal experiences of people cheating, the emotional toll that it takes on relationships, and why exactly do people cheat? The first prompt is, I would forgive my partner if they cheated on me. 31% said yes and 69% said no. I'm, I'm saying no too. Who the hell is the 31%? <laughs> Who is the 31%? Three out of 10 people would take all. Oh, I guess that's accurate. Oh, oh, you're you're done. You're, you're done. I feel like from the side of being cheated on, I think the biggest thing to understand is that forgiveness is something that everybody does deserve. Um, I think that once we get into the discussion of why somebody cheated, we can really understand whether or not that person is sympathetic and whether or not that person is somebody that you want to keep around in your life. But I think forgiveness and keeping them in that same relationship are not synonymous. They go separately. I completely agree. However, I do think that forgiveness is something that we give to ourselves, not necessarily somebody else. So in the event that my husband cheats on me, I would be giving him forgiveness so that I could set myself free from any hostility or anger that I may hold on to in the event. I think it should benefit both sides in that sense. Now, whether that other person takes it and uses it to their benefit, yeah. you can't control that and it shouldn't be up to you to try and push that. But yes, also making sure that that forgiveness is for yourself as well so you can move forward, whether it be with that person or alone and not take that burden on to the next relationship if that relationship doesn't work out. I completely agree. And I forgive because I, I've been forgiven. So, and I'm a, a Christian, so I believe in forgiveness. I believe that we should forgive people um, because we have been forgiven. You know, you can have short-term forgiveness and, and long-term forgiveness. And, you know, it's like, are you addressing the root of the issue? And, the and root really... of the issue is you're a liar. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen, short-term, I ain't gonna forgive you. And long-term, I ain't gonna forgive you. You're a liar. <laughs> What? What are y'all talking about? Like, I, like, I get what they talk about a little bit, but listen, 
Yeah, you're a liar. I'm not. Come on. Let, let, let them explain a little bit more. Forgiveness is something that comes with maturity and with life experience. You, you, it's the whole circle of forgiveness. You get so much and you release the other person and yourself from anything and then you can move forward from that yes. point. One, one thing that is interesting though is that there are three people from the cheater side who have Thank said you. That. Thank you. Point that out too. Point that out, man. Um, but only one on the cheated on. <laughs> that is interesting. I guess yeah. I'd be curious to hear more so about your guys' experiences because it seems like in this instance you were cheated on. Yes. 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 So I cheated on him. <laughs> yes. Um, and he forgave me. Um, but I guess I'll, I'll let you explain that. Forgiveness is a it's a step by step process. It's not anything that does happen instant. And for us, that was something that that we did step by step. And as you said, getting down to the root of it was a big thing yes. to where all questions have been answered. All things that were left up to an idle mind are no longer there. And so by getting down to the root of it, I can also figure out okay, were there some areas that as a husband, I did not uphold what I needed to be? It might've been that you might've felt emotionally, you couldn't feel like you can come to me. So do you feel like you have equal blame in the cheating that occurred? Can I interrupt? I think that uh, bringing the conversation to uh, the concept of blame, I think you actually kind of have to understand the purpose of blame. Mm -hmm. And I think that the purpose of blame is to shift responsibility when I have conversations around, I really like to steer clear of the blame game because the truth is like we all play a part, <laughs> yeah. society included. Can we have the disagreeers please step forward? Yeah, my peoples, <laughs> my peoples. Just to go back to kind of the imbalance that we saw there, I'd be curious to hear from the cheated on group first. <sighs> There's a few things I heard that I found interesting. Um, one, you said about not using the blame game and then also you when you said about um, you felt like you may have had something to do with you know not being a, a husband or whatever maybe and those are things I kind of disagree with in me the, too me too like, I know most of us walk with good intentions in life right we all trying to be a good person yes mm -hmm. or maybe not but at the most part <laughs> you start off that way right sure. but uh, I guess the way I, I live my life I don't give anybody any excuse to do something wrong to me so if you do something wrong to me, you have to kind of go out of your way to do that. And this idea that you start saying, well, it must have been something I did. It actually might not have been. It might have been just the other person wasn't where you were at as a human being. And also the other thing I heard was about, you know, forgiving for yourself. I've never understood that um, statement. They did something wrong, I'm just going to move on. You know, I'm not gonna hold any ill will to you. It just happened. Thank you. It's like, it's like, bro. I can forgive you. For, I get what they're trying to say. They, they want you to find your peace if you get cheated on. When they say forgive yourself, forgive the other person, you know. Uh, so yes, I can forgive you. It's not gonna be like this ill mannered thing that I'm gonna hold against you for the rest of your life. Okay, listen. But as far as being together, that's done. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Good luck to you. You feel me? <laughs> Can I respond to that? Go ahead. So I actually agree with the two things you said about the forgiveness. I have never understood that either. I just feel like for me, if it works for other people, mm -hmm. that's great. I actually have found healing in not forgiving people. And that's, I think there's a difference. I think I choose not to forgive them and then eventually I am indifferent towards them is what I'm saying. I think there's a difference between not forgiving someone and hating someone. And, and, and I think most of that comes from, that narrative comes from usually the person who cheated saying, you know, you forgive for yourself. But like, mm -hmm. you never hear it coming from the actual person who got cheated on. And again, to that point, it's, it's, it seems it's always connected to if you don't forgive, you're holding on to some ill will. No, I just don't think about it. It's done. And I'm Thank just you. you, you, you did that. You crossed that line. You crossed that bridge. Listen, if you mature enough to talk about us being in a relationship, you should be mature enough to talk about us ending the relationship or anything in between. You feel me? You you feel me? And then then if you if you 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 know if you 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 cheat then uh good luck to you. I hope you find your happiness. I forgave you. Uh, I don't really think I need to forgive myself. Uh, but I get what they're saying with you know not holding grudges and uh being able to move on with your life. So yeah. But as far as being together, nah. You're telling me you're a liar. <laughs> so I'm cool. <laughs> At least for me, I think that it comes back around to honesty. 
I mean, any of us that were cheated on, I don't think it's any of our responsibility that our partner chose to be dishonest with us about Thank anything. You. Like, it's cr you know what? Let him talk. Let him because talk. Let him even preach. Even if you Let assume preach. that, you know, it was something you did, maybe you weren't being open enough, or maybe the conversation wasn't happening that needed to happen, it's still not your responsibility fully, I don't think. You can't force anyone to be faithful or to be honest or to be true. And that's the interesting part that, you know, someone gets cheated on things, well, what did I do? Like, they should never think that. With the early part of our marriage, what I thought a husband was, I go out, I make the check, and I come home and have sex. <laughs> I'm, I'm just being completely honest. I didn't see nothing else emotional that I needed to bring to the table so that does not make an excuse for somebody to go out and do something. Yes, we should go ahead and have communication. We should try to learn how to grow within this. Um, but I, I feel like that was the importance of trying to figure out where did I have any type of flaw as a husband? Because even if we would have decided we're not going to work it out, I don't want to go and keep recreating the same type of marriage. I just want to say, I think it's really interesting that you're the only person from the cheated on and I was the only person from the cheated side. And right. speaking from my personal experience, because my partner also used to be a cheater and we came together and, you know, maybe part of it is just us growing up, you know, or we committed to each other, but we consciously made the decision to grow, grow together, grow separately. And so I think if, if he were to cheat on me, I would not be able to forgive that because it's like, well, you prom. This is the problem I got with cheaters. <laughs> this is the, listen, I know, listen, is she, is she the only one who just spoke this from the cheater side so far, but I didn't cheat on him, but now we're growing and we're together. And if he cheats on me, then that's just unacceptable. What? Wasn't unacceptable when you did it? Listen, bro. Oh my, man, listen. If y'all caught that, if it's a weird cut right there, I just almost knocked over one of my lights, you know? Uh, I was looking for Jesus in the light, okay? I was looking for answers. Because <laughs> it don't make no sense to me. <laughs> Listen, if you love and care about somebody, just treat them the right way. You feel me? I get that stuff can suck and stuff can be hard. But I promise you, honesty is the best option, okay? Honesty is, is key. Uh... Yeah, um, it's life. Life gets hard. Uh, that's all I know how to say, but being honest with somebody and, and, and hurting them with the truth is better than lying to somebody and, you know, like hurting them with a lie, if you get what I'm saying, if you get what I'm trying to say, because it's going to be a lot worse, you know? So just be honest. Just be honest. We promised each other this growth and we've put all, it would be less about the cheating itself, I think, for me, and more about the breaking the promise of the growth that we've made. And it's like, well, how am I supposed to trust you now? For my... So you so you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. ...specific experience. It was more of a physical thing. I was a virgin, and I wasn't ready to do that yet. And the guy I was with was a couple years older than me, and he went out and did that. And I could never forgive him because the physical thing was something that we could never fix. I wasn't gonna have sex with him, you know? So forgiveness for me was very hard because there was nothing to work on for me. So there was nothing to improve that relationship. So I'm, it was over. I'm just curious if he had, I have no idea what your relationship no, was like. Go for like, it, go for if it. If he had come to you and said, I love you, I care about you, this is something that I really need, how would you feel about like, you know, allowing him to go out and do that? Or would you like, we should just break up then? Totally, I mean, I think that I was getting to the point of potentially being ready. Mm -hmm. um, but after he did that with someone else, then I was like, okay, no. And I literally did not speak to a man for like three, four years. Like it was a very emotionally hmm. traumatizing for me. I was only 16. <sighs> Love is so rewarding when it's good, but it's so painful Double when it's bad. Sword. Even when you know you've been wronged. As time passes, it's hard to heal, especially if you don't have a solid support system. Luckily- Listen, shout out to them for that, you know? Always be in a good headspace, you know? Uh, always feel like you got options. Don't ever feel like you don't got an option, okay? You always got options. Uh, yeah. Hey man, my bad. It's been a lot of work, I have to go. You know, I got my, y'all can see that, I got my body armor zero, man. You know, I had to go rehydrate. Uh, also had to go get a little snack, man, you know. Snacks are good for you. 
I also got this like Chobani Zero drink. It's like a yogurt smoothie drink thing. It's strawberry cheesecake, straight fire, man. Listen. I know y'all ain't come here to get put on with snacks, but in case this do make it to the final cut, you know, you just got put on. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Emotional cheating is worse than physical cheating. Emotional cheating is worse than physical cheating. 40% said yes, basically, and 60% said no. For me, it's just as bad. <laughs> How emotional, I, I guess I need some examples. I, I don't think I've ever been emotionally cheated on. <laughs> to my knowledge, I guess. <laughs> but hey, uh, it's just as bad. I mean, yeah, I gotta, I gotta understand it. Okay. <laughs> Worse. Interesting, these I've two gonna be interesting. I ain't gonna pause the past year. The first was physical, the second was emotional. And to me, um, well, I don't want to bring it back to Jillian while she's standing over there, but we were talking about like the concept of virginity and she was only 16. Like the physical cheating aspect, I was cheated on because I wasn't, I suppose, being sexual enough despite the communication that we had going on. I was just kind of being lied to the whole time. But emotionally for me, that's what relationships are built on. So lying about something like that or like having someone else on the side that you're giving those parts of you to when I truly just want to like know the inner depths of like your being because we are in a relationship uh it's just worse to me you has she weird she said the inner depths of our being Woo! hey y'all ever seen you my joe radar going off I mess with her though. I mess with her though. I really do. I really I do. I think the word worse is like it implies that there is a level of significance to. I'm a, honestly, I'm gonna say this right now. Listen, I know it's early, but Chelsea give me vibes of the type of person who would cheat on you, and she do everything she can to convince you that it's your fault that she cheated. I'm sorry, but most things I've heard from her mouth, like, has been very uh uh. I hate when I trip up my words, but it's all about her, you know, and the situation and how it was for her and how it happened for her so far and what I'm seeing. She was talking about forgiving herself and all of that type of stuff. And she just gave me that vibe. She had cheated on you and blame you. You, you, Act she, she had never, she, you had never hear her say sorry. I think ultimately cheating comes down to managing your own thought life. And as far as what you said about you not meeting his physical needs, I'd like to... Uh, it was her, but yeah. Oh, her, Same. sorry. You're sorry. good. Same deal. I'd love to uh, shirk that off of you because what somebody else does in life is a reflection of them, not a reflection of you. So, like, as far as the, oh, I didn't meet physical needs of my partner, I think you can't really say that mm -hmm. because if they weren't vocal about it, right? It, absolutely, which is like, that was the main reason and one of the only reasons that we broke up and I called it off and I was still never apologized to you. It was never acknowledged that it even happened. Yeah. Because that betrayal was so um, tangent, it was a lot easier for me, like, for me to let go of it. Mm -hmm. um, but having like a deep emotional connection with someone, I like tried again with an ex and then I ended up getting emotionally cheated on. I had much more of a, a deeper investment in the character of that person and I cared very deeply about where we were going in life and how we were growing together. And to sort of have that growth cut off, you know, mm -hmm. is something different entirely. I do like what you said though about using the word worse and like how that- How there's like yeah. a level of significance to betrayal, whether it's actually mm -hmm. executed with your body or not. Yeah. I think that- It's still a betrayal. Same thing. Yeah, it's still a betrayal, right? Same thing. I, so I have a long history of cheating, unfortunately. Um, I'm not gonna say nothing to you, Sophie. Um, and I have nothing, both Sophie. physically cheated and emotionally cheated. The way my various partners responded was different. I don't think that it's fair to say one is worse than the other. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of agree. Because at first I was standing back there, I'm like, physical has to be worse. And I'm like, everybody has a different um, standard or different Leo, experience. Leo, bro, Leo, he, 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 bro, bro, I'm, he's a hippie too, bro. He just like me, bro. Uh, shout out Leon, bro. Shout out Leon, bro. And say what's worse for somebody else, what maybe for me. The other thing is, I don't understand, I'm not sure I even know what emotional cheating actually thank you. is. That's what I'm I, sitting there, I'm like, I'm like, what is, emo me, yeah, what is emotional cheating? Thank you, thank you. So emotional cheating, like when, let's say, 
you're going to someone and talking to them about the problems okay, okay. <clears throat> in your relationship, mm -hmm. um, and they're offering that advice, they're offering you uh, comfort. Um, they're giving you everything you, that you yeah, want. Yeah, that you're desiring okay, at that yeah, point, yeah. when you're you're actually supposed to be going to, to your spouse. Y'all, with y'all co-workers, I ain't gonna say, hey, hold on, that was my bad. Ooh, damn, mic drop. Ooh, ha ha, ha 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 ha. If you know, you know. I don't take no part in that, but if you know, you know. The person that you're with, I agree with you, but I would take that a step further and say, you can emotionally cheat and like they not know about your spouse or your partner. Like it's about having a relation, like you're talking to them with the way you talk to your partner. You, cause I, I have my, uh, my high school sweetheart, I f was in love with someone else. I was in love with two people at the same time. It was very complicated, but before and- <sighs> Okay, this is the question I need to answer to. Please help me. Can you be in love with two people at the same time? Maybe it's just the way I think about love, but if you love me, how you love somebody else too? <laughs> just just explain that to me, huh? What, your, your love got membership access or something? Like anybody who wants a little piece of it, they just, you, what? it's an exclusive club or something? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm gonna say no, man. If anything ever physically happened, I was emotionally cheating on my on my boyfriend at the time because I was talking to this guy like he was my boyfriend too, even though we weren't together. You know, and I know people who have divorced, who have left their marriages because it was like, well, I've fallen in love with someone else, even though we've never done anything physical. Whereas mm -hmm. by that same token, you can also have like a one night stand and it be purely physical and not emotional cheating at all. It's funny because like, it seemed like you're describing when you're trying to get to know about somebody because you want to date them. So that's why it's kind of, it's oh, kind of like really... Let me, let me... There we go, man. Emotional cheating. Okay, if you talk with somebody like that, right, and you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know the attentions of the person you talking to, okay? I'm just going to say that. We adults, man. People, don't, somebody, don't let these people lie to you. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't. Listen. <laughs> We, we adults, we know. You know the vibe of somebody you talking to, okay? When they send you certain stuff, you talking to somebody, y'all hanging out, you know the vibe, okay? You know, okay? Let yeah. me help you. Yeah, it's kind of like confusing me. Emotional cheating begins when you have a relationship with somebody that your partner is not aware of. Okay. And a romantic relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, you know, I think lots of things. I look at lots of people. I expect that whoever I'm with is thinking whatever they're thinking while they're looking at people. And, and relationships that we all have with each other, you know, for me, like my girlfriends, are, and I've been cheated on and, and cheated, and it's all complex and complicated and based on a case-per-case case basis, mm -hmm. until they take action, some kind of action where they're physically engaging with another person, they're not cheating on me as far as I'm concerned because they're living life as a human being and they're just feeling and thinking and fantasizing and doing all the things that we all do because we're human beings and that's that's what we do. And that's, how, and that's how you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's say, how yeah. I feel about it. That's why I said it about three or four As times. someone who yeah. has cheated, yeah. did you feel, if you've ever felt any some type of way, whether it be guilt or anything, did you feel worse about emotionally cheating or physically cheating? I've never emotionally cheated. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a human being and I live my life. And if I think something or I, or I have a relationship with her where I'm telling her about my relationship and, I, and I'm falling in love with her, that's okay. I can feel that, but until I do something. Yeah, listen, the cheaters, bro, I'm just gonna say it, bro. And it might have to get blur blurted out, blurred out, whatever. The cheaters, they just a bunch of hoes. <laughs> <laughs> they a bunch of hoes. Y'all y'all want to do what y'all do with a lot of different people uh, on different occasions, and that's fine. Just just find somebody else who wants to do that with you. You feel me? Uh, you don't have to be in a relationship. You can be single. And then it's 2024. There's all types of different relationships. You feel me? Y'all can define that. But when we get to the ba breaking the agreement of the relationship without talking to your partner, you feel me? You feel what I'm saying? Like y'all talked about this, y'all have uh, agreed upon agreement of whatever y'all doing, right? And you lie about it. Then you're a cheater and you're a liar and you're manipulative. That's how I'm coming. Uh, it's to, you can be single. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with being a, uh, it might get blurred out, but y'all just know what I, it ain't nothing wrong with being a hoe. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, if that's your jig, then you know, you do you. But lying and manipulating people, not cool, bro.
Not cool, Outed. bro. I haven't cheated. Be with whoever you want to be, as many people as you want to be. But cheating, lying, manipulating, you know? not cool. So it's just like, and it's always been like a physical thing, and it's really hurt me. Yeah. And that's why I think the physical is worse mm -hmm. for me personally than maybe the emotional would be. But I can totally see both sides. Yeah. Uh, because emotional is, sorry, yeah, mm -hmm. emotional is difficult too. But for me, the thing that sets my like romantic relationship apart from a best friendship is the intimate. Yeah. physical stuff for me I can have tight relationships with other guys but I'm not gonna go sleep with them because right. I'm not romantically involved oh I'm still very Listen, man if you're a boy right and you got a girlfriend you can have female friends if you're a girl and you got a boyfriend you can have guy friends but being in a relationship and flirting around and doing you know stuff like that without your partner knowing and you don't tell your partner your partner you know your partner don't know you doing it oh yeah <laughs> You're cutting up. <laughs> I was saying, man, it's just Most it, of my high school sweetheart. Totally. We're very good friends. Yes, and yes. I have exes too that I yeah. can be like, we're yeah. chill, you and know. It, but I'm not gonna go hook up with you in the car, like, you know what I mean? Right, like, and we have that trust. Just, like, yeah. And y'all can't have nothing flirty going on either. You like, man, like, okay, if you the type of person, say, 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 you had a boyfriend, right? And he told a girl she looks sexy. If that makes you mad or jealous or makes you feel any type of way, you shouldn't be doing the same thing. So if y'all can get what I'm saying, same thing if you're a guy and, you know, the girl, the other example, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if you're doing something in a relationship to where if the other person did it to you, you'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm having such a meltdown now. Well, my heart's broke. You're a hypocrite. Uh, you shouldn't be doing it. Uh, you should look inside and do some growing. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Bishop Entertainment, man. Okay, we 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 uh we uh advertise a lot of growing on this channel, man. Growing in inner peace, you feel me? <laughs> and I think at the end of the day, it's it's situational. It's mm -hmm. for some people, emotional cheating might be worse. For some people, physical cheating might be worse. For some people, it's for the all same. people yeah. cheating is not okay. <laughs> Let's move on to the next prompt. Okay. I would date someone who cheated on. I would date someone who cheated on others in the past. 53% said yes. So that's basically a 50-50 split. I'm not dating. Listen, you gotta, listen, I gotta, I gotta know what happened then. I gotta know what happened. I gotta know what happened. And I'm, I'm interested to hear from them and some of their stories because I'm gonna tell y'all if I would have folded, if I would have not folded. But most likely, I'm not gonna fold. You got a history of lying and being manipulative? Huh. You got a history of lying, of lying, laying next to someone you love and lying to them in their face. Over days, weeks, texts, calls, all that. <laughs> and now you want to be in a relationship with me? <laughs> oh, no, baby. Oh, no, you a professional in these streets. I'm going to leave you low. You, you, your level, you on the top level right there. You, you built different. You, 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 you so-called love this person and you did all that to them. <laughs> and now you want me to believe that you finna date me and not do that to me? <laughs> oh, yeah. Listen. <laughs> I... <laughs> I'm not going. It's cool. Listen, I wish you luck, past. though. I wish you luck. He's the only guy who keeps going over there. And listen, the dude who got married, I understand. Listen, when did, I want to I know when he got married. I'm not making no excuse because he said he was the type of husband who go to work, come home, expect sex, and that's all life was for him, okay? He didn't do nothing else. Completely wrong, okay? That's not what a husband does, okay? You got a lot more responsibilities. You got to take care of your woman. You feel me? You got to. Uh... Dang, I forgot where I was going with this. It was something about, because he keep going up about forgiving the person who cheated on him. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's, it's so starting fast. to irk me a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm I sorry. But I've most definitely lost my train of thought. past is indicative of who they were at that point in time, not necessarily who they want to become or who they are in the present moment. And I think what's most important is who we are in the present moment. Yeah. I agree too, because um, I, believe people can change i i changed so i do i believe that can we know more um, about how you were cheating how much cheating did you do was it cheating with multiple people was it multiple occasions was it over months was it over years i need more info was it one time was it emotionally was it physical and then i can i can i can, I can give y'all my full opinion on this but i don't know enough details i don't know enough details but he was in the wrong too i ain't gonna lie i'm not gonna sit up here and say he was he was a good husband he was he was a bad husband but still i just need to know i just know a little now, bit. can you did, make did you... someone change i clicked on the wrong video hold on i need to know uh did you talk to him about it? I need more details, you feel me? Because um, I 
believe people can change. I, I change, so I do, I believe that. Um, now, can you make someone change? Like, you know, obviously not, but I, I agree with that. Yeah. No, I agree wholeheartedly. I feel like if somebody did something, you know, say for example, in their 20s and they're in their mid 30s now, I can't hold them to that past. Right. There's things that I- Okay, okay, okay. We gonna give y'all a 10 year gap. You need 10 years of no cheating and it all can be forgiven in your past. <laughs> If you started, if you was cheating in your 20s, you in your 30s now, you ain't cheated since then, okay, okay. But they know you was man. cheating when you was 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and now you 33 and you not a cheater no more. <laughs> ha! And so, <laughs> come on I feel now. like it would be uh -uh. wrong for a person to say, hey, you can't change, you can't come out of that, and so who am I to say, I'm not going to date you because you did something to somebody else. And I think those are things that you would only figure out like the surface level stuff early on anyway, before you get down to the deeper details. I, I am currently dating somebody who used to cheat, uh, maybe even worse than I did. And I mean, to your point about cheating in your 20s, I think the last time I cheated on anybody was maybe like five to seven years ago. And, you know, like I was saying before, my partner and I, we made a commitment to each other to help each other be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. And I'm very secure in my relationship. I, I have my moments, but that has more to do with like me than it does him. When he goes out, I'm like, oh, see you later. Like it doesn't, there's, there's no doubt in my mind that he is faithful. Since I began my marriage as an affair, the man that I have been with for the last 10 years is the man that I cheated with. I proceeded to have three of his babies and... What did I tell y'all about her? What did I tell y'all about her? You were in a relationship with somebody you cheated on when you was already married? Oh my God, you, you don't need to be giving no, she don't need to be giving advice to nobody. We now have a fabulous life, but in the beginning, the amount of paranoia and anxiety that came from the fact that you cannot control anybody else's behavior but your own was insane. And so I think coming to terms with accepting the realization that what is inside of my control and what is outside of my control was liberating. I'm interested to hear the disagreeers because again, <laughs> I think we have three people on the cheater side and then one on the cheated on. So disagreeers, please step forward. I don't disagree. I just I didn't hear the prompt. So, so I, I mean, actually, yeah, I think I honestly. I mean, everything everybody said sounds great on a Christmas card, I guess. <laughs> like, I'm being honest. Oh, that's my boy right there, man. That's my boy right there. Shout out Leo, man. Shout out Leo. Because at the end of the day, I think I, I, I don't say it disrespectfully. I mean, at the end of the day, we all still are human beings, right? And we go off experience, okay? For instance, in my situation, I was married, but at the time, I didn't know how many times prior to that that she cheated, right? So again, when you meet somebody, you don't straight away know off the bat, oh, they've been cheating. As you go along and as you go through the situation, you start to go back to this conversations and stories you've had, and it's like, oh, that was the behavior that was always there, you just didn't know it, right? Would you take a banker who's stolen money in the past? You're kind of gonna be like, eh, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Like, so it's, I think it's situational. Thank you, man. When you build a tendency of lying and cheating and manipulating people, and, and someone looks at you and be like, man, you, you got a tendency of doing that. I'm cool. You can't even get mad at them. You can't. You got to understand that as a person. Do some more growing. Man, what? And how you meet the person and how you grow. Like, even you said, when you had your affair and now you're married with 10 years with three kids, it grew into something, but you started off with paranoia, but it, right. you, it, it, it grew into something real, right? So I think it's, again, very situational. I mean, it was, it was even real in the affair, okay? Mm -hmm. So, like, I kind of want to get ahead of the narrative that, like, people fall in love when they cheat because it's a fantasy. And I think if it were a fantasy, it wouldn't hurt so bad, right? Mm -hmm. So I really like to keep it in the reality sector uh, just because it, I think it invalidates the experience. And what you just shared actually hits on the fact that your wife, ex-wife, mm -hmm. your ex-wife had serial cheating. And I am of the belief that serial cheating exists if you don't understand why you do it. So if we Grow, do not do some growing, do some actually growing. do the deep dive and understanding in why we behave the way that we behave, we'll inside. never be able to correct. Mm -hmm. So from the beginning, she was deceitful with you, right? Like, I think that if I get the opportunity in the future 
to go into another relationship, which it's already disclosed on the internet, so whatever. But I'm going to be upfront, you know? Like, I have a history of deceiving people I love, and I am capable of it. I'm curious. You're more than capable. You have the skill set for it. You know what I'm saying? You've practiced and polished your skills. <laughs> and you want me to get a relationship with you and think you not gonna do me the same way you did them and you telling me you love them too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, y'all, y'all, listen. Keep accepting relationship. It's funny because I'm going to say this and I'm on the internet. Keep relate, keep accepting relationship advice from the internet. <laughs> y'all keep doing that, man. That's on y'all. Do any of you guys have kids? We do. Yes, we do. And I think that brings up a whole other dynamic for me when I went through mine because I had kids involved. Mm. And that was kind of like, and then, you know, it's like, it, not saying that's worse or better because cheating is cheating regardless. Mm -hmm. But again, being real and being a human being, you're gonna react a different way because you've got kids involved. So I'm gonna. Do you think you're gonna be a lot more, you know, when you go and date again? Would you be a lot more stringent on your requirements than now that you do have your own kids? I think that's a, just a natural thing. Not saying that's justifiable, but like you're gonna have standards. You've been through one thing. There's certain things that you're gonna not tolerate. The whole dating thing is kind of put on hold because my focus is on kids, especially in a society that downplays fathers in their kids' lives. And because I came from a two-parent ha household, I'm very, like, I'm going to be there for my kids no matter what. Mm. Like, even right now, if they're caught right now, I'll be out of here. I, I want to hear more from this degree. Is, is that, like, a requirement now that if they were a cheater in the past, you won't even consider dating them? Well, or is it case by case? It's interesting. It, it, for me, I think it is case by case. The reason, the main reason for me disagreeing with this prompt is because it's about the serial cheating thing. Like, the, per, one of the, the person who physically cheated on me was a serial cheater before me and has continued to be, like, since our breakup. And I would never, ever, ever touch that with a 10-foot pole again. I was a serial cheater. Um, <clears throat> How'd you change? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm about to say, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. I'm the only child of a single mom, uh, so there was no father at home. There was no example of what a healthy relationship is in terms of uh, a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I grew up uh, with a lot of female energy, so I had aunts and grandmothers and stuff who were all raising me, so I had a very emotional aspect to, to my being. And so because of that, I craved female attention. And so whenever females would give me attention, it was just like, oh, if they wanted to do whatever I was on board, I'm like, let's go, you know, it's life and, and this is great. And then after about, you know, after starting to mature and grow up a little bit, I'm like, this doesn't feel good. This doesn't feel like the right thing to do, you know? I can't even explain it. It just kind of descended into my being. And I was like, this is not you. You're not this person. And, and that's where I found one sense of my character and integrity about myself. I, I am also a serial cheater. And my partner was a serial cheater as well. And we were very honest with each other in the beginning. As soon as it was serious, you know, hey, I have this history. Oh, me too. And he was able to communicate to me, this is why I made these horrible choices. So I am confident that he wouldn't make those choices again. For the that's a very healthy conversation to have. Have have healthy conversations with your uh, with your peoples, with your spouses, uh, your boyfriend, girlfriends. You feel me? Uh, the serial cheating thing. I can't forgive you. I can't. You just got a pattern of doing this stuff, man. You, you, you that's just, all I need to know. Cheaters have now found themselves or gone through and understand. I guess what would you say to the people who have been serial cheating on because it's interesting like you guys have gone through something and you figure stuff out and and you, you always hear those people who was like why am i always finding that guy or that, that girl and they're always cheating on me like how like what like what do you say to them and i'm speaking from experience not with cheating but with other things that sometimes when someone has trauma from a relationship that you enter your next relationship thinking oh this person's gonna save me mm -hmm. this is gonna be the person who fixes my trauma and it becomes this cycle of trauma where that person then is like, oh, this person thinks of me as their savior, and they'll take advantage of that. You know, and that is not like I'm not victim blaming. That is not to say that like, and it's your fault. No, but that's a relationship thing. Yeah. What you're talking about, what you're talking about, is like, in relationships, when you find yourself finding the same mm -hmm. kind of people, the yeah. you have to stop finding people and go, yeah. 
what is it about me? What do I have to figure out about me and what's going on? Well, keep, yeah. And how I feel about other people and what my boundaries are and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the types of energy that you might be unconsciously uh, like, like looking attracting. for. Yeah. Yeah. Not even necessarily attracting, but like sometimes when a person is traumatized in a certain way, unconsciously, unconsciously. you will chase that looking trauma for it. over exactly. and over yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. But I think what you said about boundaries, I mean, that is the key. And I think a lot of people don't understand that like boundaries is not saying like, like, you can't do this because you can't control other people like like yeah. you're saying a boundary is like if you do this I'm not gonna talk to you anymore mm -hmm. it's the consequence of the person crossing that boundary so hey man listen this is an hour-long video man hour-long video uh we're gonna have to break this into two parts and obviously if y'all want to see part two y'all know what y'all gotta do and I'm hoping y'all do it because I, I low-key want to come back and uh you know, discuss some more, you know? <laughs> uh, basically, like what they said in the uh, video, man, uh, do a lot of inner growing. Um, figure out what's going on with you. Figure out what you want. Figure out who you want to be. Uh, me, personally, I just think about some of the questions. It's just, I don't, I don't feel like being your test dummy, you know? So if you got a history of cheating, I'm not finna be the person to help you figure that out when you got a history of cheating and lying and manipulating people you love. Uh, I don't want to be that test dummy. Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where else to go with this. Cheating's not cool. <laughs> not cool. Uh, lying, manipulating, and using people that you love, not cool. Uh, I guess these, all the questions they ask, I guess you can answer from your own personal preference. But just for me, there are certain lines and lines, there are certain lines you just don't cross. You know, um, if you are mature enough to be in this relationship with a person, you should be mature enough to end the relationship with the person. Uh, yeah, man. That would do a lot of inner growing. <laughs> do, do a lot of inner growing because... Uh, like, y'all y'all can have y'all own choices, own answers, but just understand, I ain't Jesus, and I don't forgive like that. <laughs> I forgive, but I don't forget. Let me say it like that. I forgive, but I don't forget. Hey, man, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. We out.